Inbound. View fighters. Rockets. Bam, baby. Boom. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. So, yeah. You know, got to light up the merchies every now and then. And when you get a tanker, it's just like uh, the cherry on the cake. Uh, hey, folks. Pat here. Welcome back. Episode number 34. War on the Sea. Here we are, 6th of September, 1942, day number 32, uh, mid-afternoon. Got um, a couple things going on, uh, including some surface combat, <laughs> and so we'll get to that here in just a sec. So I saved that up from the last episode, and uh, so we have an emergency out here. We're going to send some view fighters out there to go grab this guy. Submarines are in good position. Uh, USS Steelhead. Let's go ahead and uh, rearm you. Yep. Full on torpedoes. Sorry, gentlemen. Uh, there's a war going on, and I'm going to get you back into it. So, meanwhile, over here, Battle Canal, Task Force 44, uh, with all of our engineering. Let's go ahead and dump these guys off. Bam, Dunzo. Let's check this out. Yeah, over 500 engineering here. So we're going to be able to beef this up to a level 5. As soon as we score a few more points to grab another tanker down here. Uh, kind of puts these guys out of a job at the moment, though. So let's send those guys back down to Oz since we have so many troops, supplies, and... All the things down there, we'll see Beef Up Milne here, or Port Moresby, or Cartwheel. Probably Moresby, to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, I need a lot of fuel there. Need all the fuels here. So, all right, we're just going to play that one by ear. So, primary objective... Get enough command points to buy ourselves another transport. So, we've got four, we need three more. <clears throat> Let's see if we can go get those. Uh, meanwhile, Task Force 24, USS Tennessee, New Mex in the slot. We're going to keep them there. And then uh, over here, HMAS Australia. And her group. Let's go grab this guy here. So, let's see what we got. Probably two destroyers and a light cruiser. So, let's get in nice and close, shall we? Um, Wildcats in the area too. Task Force 14, Sister Sarah Enterprise on deck. All right, here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and run with this. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. We actually had the contact right off the bat. So let's do that. Oh, man, I probably wanted to set these guys up in a different formation, but we'll make it work. So in we go. Uh, gentlemen. Everybody here, light up your radars. What do we got? We got a walrus in the area. Let's use you. There he is. What do we got? Oh, we got a lone destroyer here, man. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a light cruiser. Uh, that's okay. We'll go ahead and murder this guy. Oh, man, I'm sorry, guys. I thought this was going to be a little bit more uh, intensive than this. Let's go ahead and nav this way. Uh, let's ID you. Kamikaze, they've already ID'd you. You guys are already shooting, so let's just go ahead and let them shoot. And come the shells. <laughs> let's uh, actually, let's be a little bit strategic about this here. Oh, actually, we got really good firing solution on him, so let's just go ahead and shoot the things. Um, might catch some torpedoes from this guy. Let's check our magazines here on all these guys. So, Hobart here, AP. We got a lot of AP shells. A lot of AP. Canberra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Um, let's uh, see if we can get your other guns to bear 
on her here. So everybody's going to juke around here a little bit. Should have set up a, a better uh, formation before we got into this, but let's just let... The, let's, let's go ahead and let the boys do their thing. So, here they come. Let's make sure that they're all set to spot, though, um, on all of these. Um, how do we do that? Here. No, no. One at a time. Hang on just a sec. It's been a while since I've done any surface combat. Let's pause this. Let's make sure that we're doing this right. So Hobart here, you are our group leader. 81, 81, firing at will. How do I set these guys to spot? Hang on. Worse. Wait a minute, how the frick do I do this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel stupid now. Hold cease. None of those. Why don't I have the uh, things here? You guys are probably screaming at me in the comments right now. Uh, stop, stop. There we go. Okay, that's what I want. Right here. AP full spot. Hold fire. Everybody hold fire. Stop. 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 You. Stop. Alright, so all these guys are set to auto attack. Let's uh, fix that here real quick. Stop. Stop. <clears throat> stop. Stop. Van Galen, Dutch Destroyer, stop, stop. Okay. Alright, everybody. Select on. Radar's on. Let's go ahead and be cool here for just a sec. Uh, we probably already hit her. Now she's popping smoke. So she's going to cheese it out of here. So here we go. Hobart. You. AP. Yeah, lots of AP. HE. Well, let's do the HE. So. <clears throat> target. Kamikaze. Fire. There we go. Flagship. Target. This guy. Hold fire. HE. Fire. 77. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> Alright, so they're all doing the same thing. Cease fire. <clears throat> Let's do HE. Fire. There we go. Let's load up with HE here. Drop some shells on her. Here we go. Bam, baby. Destroyer back here. HE. Yeah, that's all you got. You. Same thing. That's all you got. Van Galen over here in the van. HE. Okay. Alright. Man, man, I got a little bit jacked up there. So. She's got a ton of high explosive shells. So, what's our speed? 27 knots. Let's uh, bump that up to 30. Looks like she's shooting at you, man. Taking a couple hits here. 
one and one on that side. I don't really care about that. Let's go ahead and open up the range here. Just a little bit. What is our range? 13,000 yards on this guy? Yeah, okay. Walrus, brother, stick around in the area. Keep eyes on this dude. <clears throat> Let's put some shells on you, man. So, yeah, you're going to pop smoke behind us, which can make it a little bit harder. Man, it's been a long time since I've done any surface combat, so... <laughs> we'll make it work. Oh, and by the way, uh... Who was it? Um, hang on. Uh, one of y'all... Told me to go get some Australian bear here. Uh, who was it? I want to make sure I got this right. Anti-social engineering. I'm sorry, man. I went over to the local beer library where they got beers from all over America, and they had none of your beers from Australia, and so I'm really disappointed in that. They told me that I have to go on down to Denver in order to actually get any of those and so I'll be down there in two weeks so but in the meantime picked up some Japanese beer <laughs> got a little bit of Sapporo here which is unfortunately brewed in Canada <laughs> so but close enough I guess and uh, I've always loved Japanese beer and so that's uh, that's what's on deck for tonight but I'm gonna watch out for those man so I'm gonna watch out for those for sure Looks like this ship is actually pitching pretty hard over here to port. We gotta watch out for any uh, torpedoes that might be coming our way, but it looks like she's actually gonna cheese it out of here. That's not a good torpedo angle for her. Let's keep this walrus on her here. Um, might get shot at a little bit, but... There we go. Bang! Mm. Yeah, she's pitching down pretty hard. Let's uh, check our report here. Moderate, moderate already. Here in just a couple minutes. I was, I was fully expecting to see a Japanese light cruiser here and another destroyer. Maybe even one of the modern ones. But uh, looks like she's going to pitch back around, try and keep within her uh, her smoke screen there. Good on the AI. But. Yeah, this destroyer probably cannot hold up to the uh, Royal Australian Navy here. And our lone Dutch destroyer is also having a good time shooting at her. There we go. Off they go. Here's Hobart. This is a beautiful ship, by the way. So, absolutely gorgeous ship. Not that these aren't. Back here, kicking off 8-inch shells. Let's go ahead and watch the fun, shall we? Bam, baby! <laughs> well, that's not what you guys want to see. You guys want to see the uh, the impact. <laughs> so, in they come. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't know. Let's see how long this takes. Looks like she's got her... Her list kind of sorted out there. This is a lot of ordnance to show to throw at one little ship, though. Oh man, it's just absolutely nuts. Just absolutely wash your decks down here. Running through the car wash. <laughs> Now, he can't really shoot torpedoes at this guy. He's too small. So, we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way here. Hopefully, these guys can tighten up here. Let's, uh... Looks like we kind of got the range. So, let's, uh... Switch this over to narrow. Let's see if that sticks on everybody. Here, yeah, narrow. 14,000 yards, pretty far. But 
Let's see how that works. Let's go ahead and machine gun this guy down. So all our boys are way out here. You can see the the, uh, the flashes. There we go. That's actually a little bit better. Bam, there we go. Hmm. No, nope, not quite. No, like, if I was really a boss at this game, I would actually do the uh, manual fire, but I'm not that cool. <laughs> We're just gonna let the boys do their thing. Here. But surface combat is uh, a uniquely horrifying experience for those who've been through it. Uh, one of my uncles went through it on the USS New Orleans. And he told me there's nothing like it, man. So, absolutely nothing like it. Can't hear, can't see, can't think. You know, all the training has to kick in at that point in time. Because, uh... Yeah, you're one little ship in the middle of nowhere. And everything on the sea just resonates whenever it hits. Yeah. It's... Brutal. It's gory, too. Yeah. You know... Armor on a ship like this is nothing, man. It's like a Winnebago. <laughs> so, and it's not that much bigger either, you know? So, not that much bigger. Just absolutely, absolutely horrifying way to, to fight. She's shooting back, though. Good on her. I think we might have to switch this back to spot here. She is actually like doing a good job of putting the uh, smoke screen between us and her. Let's keep the walrus in the area here. Chase her down, man. Shooting back. So this is our destroyer killer right here though, Hobart. He's got a ton of ammo. Let's check that out. Let's uh oh we still have it on narrow and spot, so let's keep it on that for a little bit here. Hopefully we can tighten up some of these uh these patterns here. Are her uh stern Guns firing. Doesn't look like. Oh my gosh, man! Imagine being on the ship, man. You're gonna hear yourself freaking think. At this point in time. Admirable. If futile. Gotta get a few more hull hits on her, though. Probably gonna open up the uh, probably gonna open up the range on us here. Good on this Japanese skipper. He's doing all the right things, boys. Doing all the right things, trying to get out of here. not getting any contact on target here <clears throat> probably thinks that smoke screen
Oh man, we're getting close though. <laughs> oh, brutal. That might have been a hit right there. Here's a hit. Just got one on the stern back here. She just pitched down by the stern a little bit. There we go. There's another hit. Engineering space is back here. She's starting to pitch over to starboard here a little bit. There's another hit. Good hit on the engineering spaces back here. Man, Australians here are just not going to be, they're going to be relentless. <laughs> We're going to let them do it. Looks like she's actually slowing down quite a bit. Not going to work out for them. Next to wash. Yeah. Screws going low. There's another hit. Another hit. Come on, boys. Strike your colors. Call it good. They're not going to do it. It's Japanese. Of course they're not going to do it. They'll fight on to the end. And we will expend all the ammunition. Take out one little destroyer escort. Little kamikaze here. Absolutely brave, brave sailors here. You know, fight back as much as they can. Let's go ahead and pull up alongside here. Check our ammo. We got tons of ammo. Tons and tons of ammo. How about you, sister? Out of HE. Why don't you hold fire? Hitting shells are probably a little bit much. Why don't you hold fire too? Uh, destroyers. Tons of ammo. Expend ammo. <laughs> Expend ammo. Dutch destroyer here. Yeah. Spend all the ammo. Hobart's the one with the most ammo, so let's, uh, how about your, uh, yeah, keep a little bit of ammo. Go ahead and expend the secondaries. Two hundred. Yeah, go ahead and expend all those secondaries. It's fine. AP 200. AP HE? Yeah, okay. Go ahead and save the Australian taxpayers a little bit of money here. Watch this poor valiant kamikaze Japanese escort destroyer meet her fate. She's still moving. Hey, brother. Uh, get over there and spot. Yeah, there's the fleet over there, man. Like I said, <laughs> this absolutely <laughs> wonderful British contraption here, known as the Walrus. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's got some bombas on there too. We could go bomber if we really wanted to, but let's uh, let's just let the Australians do their thing. Go ahead and uh, let's check our report. Heavy and moderate. Yeah, we need to punch some more holes in our hull. We get some uh, bigger hits here. Don't want to use the. Uh, uh, 
Let's check your rear magazines. 112 AP, 52 HP. <sighs> yeah, go ahead and fire. I <laughs> use them. So let's put her down, shall we? There you go, boys. Let's go ahead and watch some uh, eight-inch gunfire off on our Australian heavy cruisers here. We might send these guys back down to Cairns, rearm, come back up here, and uh, clean off a couple more of these groups. Let's just get this guy while we can. Like I said, we're not going to use torpedoes on him unless he... Unless we actually shut down her, her plant entirely, then uh, we'll we'll throw some uh, British torpedoes her way. Damn, baby! Oh man, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. Brutal, but is what it is. Are we moving? We got a little spin left on the on the screws, but. We got some shells coming your way too, brother. See, that's the thing about surface combat is it's not it's not an easy way to die. Here we go. No spin on the screws. She got no wake back here now. Check it out. Done. Just windmilling now. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some shells at her. And uh, if that doesn't work out, we will line up torpedoes once we are a little bit closer. He's way over there. Hobart's in the lead here, so let's just go ahead and let you do your thing, man. She is shooting back. We've taken no hits. At least no substantive hits. Hobart. Nope. Australia. Nope. <sighs> None on you. None on you. Van Galen. Took a little hit on the port side here. Not too bad. Poke a little hole in you. It's okay. Everybody's keeping station. Check you out. Yeah. Dead in the water. I'm gonna have to rearm with shells, so I don't wanna do anything with uh pit us just quite yet if you're still afloat by the time we get it down to about here then we'll uh go ahead and launch the coup de gras but i don't know if that's going to be necessary all right folks so uh, happy fourth of july even though that's tomorrow not today <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and light up some fireworks here thank you to the uh Royal Australian Navy for uh, providing uh, today's uh, show. <laughs> Expending ammunition. Bam, baby! Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Dunzo. Right in the magazine. That's all those five inch shells just went up. Absolutely Dunzo. Gentlemen. Uh, ceasefire. Be cool. Be cool. Give the boys a chance to get off. Grab the Emperor's portrait. Call it good. Call it y'all. Everybody good? Everybody good? Pretty good. 
Kamikaze Dunzo. Let's go ahead and give her the honors, shall we? So, yeah. Service combat, uniquely brutal. Bad way to die as a ship. Um, especially coming up against a task group like this. So, British 8 inch shells, 4.7 inch shells on the secondaries. Really lethal. Really, really lethal. That's the Germans. <laughs> they know. <laughs> but there you go. We got ourselves bonafide surface kill. So we'll go ahead and take it. Pay our final respects here. One more tip off the Sapporo. And off we go. BZ gentlemen. All right, so out of ammo. Very close on being out of ammo. So, gentlemen, let's send you back down to home port here, shall we? Go chase all the Air Force dudes off the Walmart. <laughs> so, meanwhile, uh, up here, bow fighter. The RAAF. Gets a little bit of love today as well, so let's go check that out. Meanwhile, we got all our submarines in position. Let's see if we can find this dude. There he is. In we go. Bullfighter buddies, what do we got over here? Oh, this would be a tanker. Let's uh, go do something about this. Shall we target that mine and attack? What do we got here? This is absolutely positively a tanker. And so that is something that is not going to respond well to rockets. <laughs> what do we got here? So this is armed. 7,200 tons. Two racks. Attack. Gentlemen. All y'all. Go get him, man. There he is, over there. <clears throat> so, yeah, it might be 4th of July weekend, but looks like the Australians are doing some of the heavy lifting today. So, appreciate that. <laughs> Even though I couldn't find you guys' beer. <laughs> so, I, I'm curious to find some of it, though. So, when I get down to Denver here... Uh, next weekend or so, I'm gonna go check out the uh, the uh, Central Beer Library, <laughs> see if I can find it. So, but for today, um, Japanese beer will have to do. And I've always loved Japanese beer, even that which is brewed in Canada. So, I'm not hating on Canadian beer either. Man, pretty good too. <laughs> so, but I drink Coors, so I'm not picky. <laughs> I get less picky the older that I get. So, um, yeah, I actually passed up some good German beer in order to buy the Japanese beer today. So, anyway, so enough about my bad habits. Let's go ahead and uh, watch the fun, shall we? <laughs> Inbound, view fighters, rockets, bam, baby, boom, yes! <laughs> Oh man, I love it. So yeah, you know, gotta light up the merchies every now and then. And when you get a tanker, it's just like uh, the cherry on the cake. Definitely a good Fourth of July kill right there. Look at that, man. Absolutely brutal. Donzo, she is lit up and no longer our problem. Ah oh, man, it'd be. It'd be wicked to be a Japanese merchantman who actually knew what you were doing, been sailing around for 10 years, and the IJN sends you and your brothers out here solo to go resupply some base in the Solomon Sea where you know, you gotta know that there are murderers hanging around out here. 
Brutal. 7200 times, two command points. Does that give us the seven? Yes, we are at seven. So, gentlemen, Bufighters, RTB. Nicely done. Uh, speaking of which, we gotta send out our murder hornets. <laughs> Guess I forgot to do that. Or, no, I did earlier. Then they came back. So let's go ahead and kick them out again. But, what that does is it gives us a chance to get another oiler down here. Uh, we want you. So, yep. Dunzo, done. Uh, let's load you up. Manage cargo. Uh, 34. We were 14 shy, so 34, we're good. Yes. Yes. Merge. Dunzo. Cassin and Preston, you got a big job here, gentlemen. Task Force 54 inbound. How long is this going to take? Two days. Get up there. Uh, 1432. Um, let's kick out the cats, just in case. Need a little bit of air cover here. Let's do six with depth charges. Get out this way, just in case there's something there that's gnarly. All right. Gentlemen, I think we almost have this stitched up. F4F Wildcat. Oh, what'd you find here, man? This looks like Emily's. Let's go shoot some dudes down. What do we got over here? Oh my goodness, look at all the Emily's. Oh wow, way too many for one Wildcat. Holy crap. Look at all these guys. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? We got Jake's too. All right, so in fairness, we're not going to actually like use those guys on that because um, it would take an hour and all those Emily's would actually shoot that dude down. Let's go ahead and kick out the Air Cobras though. Uh, 228. Oh, let's see where they're going. They're probably heading towards this dude here. Uh, if that's the case, we can go ahead and pop up some cap here. Yeah, they got to be heading towards Task Force 34, Australians. Let's go ahead and give them some air cover. Yeah, sorry, boys. I'm doing a little bit of RP here. But that one wildcat would absolutely positively get shot down by those dudes. And so you would... You would uh, radio this in and USS Lexington, or I mean, I'm sorry, Saratoga here would respond. Let's do, uh, let's do 12 to cover these guys here. All right, so this is a little bit more realistic. 1451, yeah, we got quite a bit of time. They are definitely probably heading towards Task Force 34 here. So let's see if we can intercept. Let's actually keep the Wildcats pretty close to those guys. Just in case. And again, sorry. Doing a little RP here. Let's uh, be cool, man. Stick around him. Milne Bay. Yeah, that's those guys getting back. 126 nautical miles. Ooh. Let's go ahead and kick out another group here from uh, 24 out of 37. And then 22 out of 37. Let's kick them out of Enterprise. 1602. Yeah, let's do it. Let's kick out another 12 here. Just uh, it's being cool, keeping these guys covered. Uh, the Saratoga boys are going to have to get back there. VF4. Send out the VF6. USS Drum. Up here. One destroyer escort. 
ignore. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> P38 Lightning. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Late in the day? What do we got? Where are ya? Hey, buddy. Ooh, I wonder if this is that guy that we spotted earlier. Probably is. Um, let's go murder you, shall we? Gentlemen. Now that way. Have that way. Let me ID this guy. This is the uh, standard one. Yeah, that escape drum because she's got all the guns. So here we go. Um, nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. Uh, uh, merchant ship. You are this guy right here. MKF. M K M K F M K yep 6400 tons absolutely yeah let's put some rockets into you brother so here we go attack purple leader also attack there he is right over there and they're gonna come down and spin around go put some rockets in this dude we got rockets right yeah we got all the rockets here on the murder hornets. Man, I love these planes. So, and I and that's why I've been careful with them too. Since the first couple episodes in the uh, in the series here, P-38 Lightnings are not to be messed with. And so, <clears throat> quite honestly, when we do cartwheel, which will be coming up here soon, number one priority is to beef up Moresby so we can get more of these guys. I know, like, there is definitely a reason for me to do Milne. But, um... Get more guys. More Air Force guys up here in Moresby. And especially P-38s. It's going to be worth the effort. So, I'm going to send those transports back down there. As soon as I get done with those uh, tankers, I'm going to send those back down there, too. Send them up to Moresby. Get mm -hmm. this all... Oh, assholes. He <laughs> shot one of my guys, man. <laughs> Bam! That's what you get. <laughs> oh, look at that, man. Oh, look at that. Dunzo. But yeah, we're going to get all the murder hornets. I want to get 12 or 16 of them set up in Moresby. Um... Oh, wow, wow, it might actually go up to 24, I don't know. Let's go check New Hebrides here in a little bit. Dunzo. Alright, so this guy's cooked. Absolutely cooked. Shot back. Got one of our boys. So everybody also radio that dude in, though. Get some uh, PBYs up here, pick him up. So, but, transport... We're a freighter. Done so. Off we go. RTB, gentlemen. Nicely done. What is this? ASW. No, we don't care about that. Let's actually spook down around this way a little bit. Bring flying fish a little bit closer to uh, Buka here. Um, 1621? Alright. You're heading up there. How long is it going to take for these guys to get up there? 42 hours? So, two days. Day and a half-ish. 44 minutes? Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can get that guy up there. You. Spook around. Be cool. 1649. It's about time that we're going to see something gnarly barf out a Rabal here. And as one of you pointed out, we have not seen Big Boss Yami or her sister Musashi around here. And so, um, Zuikaku is still out there as well. 
So, wait a minute. Let me let me check the thing. Um, enemy losses. I think we have both Junio and Hio now. Let's see. There's Hio done, and then Junio down here, and we did get Showy. Right? Showy. So Zui is still out there. Bunch of light carriers. Probably two or three of those. Both of the Issei's are down. Um, we did put torpedoes into Fuso the other day. And so she's probably out for a little bit. Um, her sister probably still running around out there somewhere. I don't think we've actually sunk a Fuso. Hang on. No, we did. We got one. So her sister, Fuso is down. So her sister's still out there. And then we haven't seen Nagato. Yeah, all right. So the Japanese have some fairly heavy units. Uh, we need to be a little bit cool here. Keep these guys in the area for the moment. So we're still doing pretty good on Dauntlesses. Uh, we got to bring some Wildcats back. Okay, they're heading back. Still doing pretty good on Dauntlesses. We are very low on Avengers, so we have very few Torpedo Planes. Um, Dauntlesses seem to scare them off, though. So, yeah, we got to be cool here. We got to get this, uh, this tanker group up here. We're going to keep uh, Task Force 24 with... Uh, Big Ten and New Mex in the area. If they sneak anything in here, we're ready. Um, let's pull Scorpion back here into the slot so they can fence anything that's coming our way. Let's pull these guys back just to just a skosh here. Um, Steelhead is heading back. Drum. Drum is good on Terpetus. All right. We're in good position, folks. These guys are heading back. Uh, down to Cairns. Uh, Test Force 14 is going to stick around in the area. We need to guard these guys over the next day. Uh, send out Catalinas over these guys. RTB. Looks like Drum's got a contact up here. Let's go check this out. Looks like a transport. Um, upscope. Right there, what do we got? Oh yeah, what do we got here? Four holds, M, F, M. Let's see any Ks in here. Uh, let's ID you. Merchant ship. One, two, three, four holds, M, F, M. 7300 tons? Heck yeah, we're gonna shoot you, man. I don't think you're armed either, are you? No arms. Alright. Surface the boat. Max speed. Let's head right for her. There we go. USS Drum, how you doing on MOs? 16 star, star shells, 114 high explosive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do some gunslinging here, shall we? <laughs> Let's sling some guns. Mm. Oh, that's okay, man. We know where you are. Alright. You're on the deck. Light up the radar. Open up the engines. Uh, it is right about here ish. Yeah, we're on the surface now. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Pick up the contact again. Get ready with star shells. Go ahead and load those full spot. We're making uh, 18 knots. We're doing 14. 5, 143. Uh, my visibility is pretty shitty. That's okay. We should be able to find. I shouldn't have clicked off him, but whatevs. We know where he is. Over here. 
Uh, maybe. Is he up here? Radar on! Crap, did I lose him? I think a little overzealous here. He was up here, right? Or up here. <laughs> Can't see nothing, man. <laughs> it's dark. Darkest hours of the night. Oh, oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> I didn't lose him. Here we go. In we come. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was close. It's uh, not quite there. So 6,700 yards. Let's get this down to about 1,800 yards. Go ahead and pop a couple star shells. Uh, let's keep this on narrow here. Uh, narrow just tightens the spread, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so a thousand yards. Actually, we don't even need to. We, we can just cut them off like this. And so a thousand yards, right about there. Yeah, we'll be good. All right, let's do some gunslinging here. We get a lot of high explosive shells. We got AP shells too. We don't really need them though. Uh, let's see if we can light this guy up like the last one. So, dish out some more bronze stars for your uh, duck gun crew here, man. So, let's get this down to about 1800 yards. We'll go ahead and light them up. Our shells. And, uh. Let's see. Here we go. Let's do that. Let's nav this way. All right. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, there's a submarine right there. <laughs> hey. I see you. <laughs> it's a hold fire. Change the high explosive. Change the high explosive. There we go. Fire at will, gentlemen. 63%. Solution, bam, baby, gotcha. First shot, nice hit. Give me another one. Give me another. Yeah, that's two. Let's uh, peel off the speed here a little bit. What's her speed? 11 knots? She's pretty slow. Let's go ahead and match. We'll spin on around. First turn here, like that. Come on, boys. Oh, yeah, that's like four for four hits. Look at that. Bam, baby. Take it. It will take it. Here comes another one. Boom. Come on, light something up. Light something up. These guys are sharpshooters now, man. Not a not a miss yet. So famous last words. <laughs> Just absolutely ripping her side open here. Oh, 
No fire yet, though. Looks like she's listening a little bit, though. No, she's just dead. Oh, actually, she is on fire. There we go. Gentlemen, spin on around. I'm shooting. What do we got? We got a lot of shells. Let's see if we can get her in our engineering spaces back here. Open some holes. Oh, there's a whiff. So open some holes in her uh, in her engine compartment. How are we doing here? 71, that's pretty good. Let's go watch the fun from over here. Yeah, those of you who actually like turn me on to using the deck gun at night. Nicely done, very good tactic. Especially when they can't shoot back. My favorite kind of target. <laughs> anyway, we uh, Let's just watch it here for a little bit. We're going to come around her uh, report side here. She's a little bit rough. Deck gun crew is getting a little wet, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens in the Navy. <laughs> so... <laughs> Better this way than the other way. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Absolutely nailing her. Check her ammo here. 84. Let's get that down. Let's do about four more shots. One, two, hit, oh no, that was a whiff, three, there's a hit, and four, hold fire, what are we at, we're at 80 shells, AP, let's check our report. Maybe a moderate flooding. Let's go ahead and uh, let's pump some AP shells into her, shall we? There we go. Since we got a few of those, let's see if we can punch some holes in her hull. On this side. We don't want to actually naturally counter flood her, but we don't want to use all our HE shells right off the bat especially since we didn't get her to light up like the last ammo ship it's just not quite yet check our report so minor flooding not a fan of that yeah let's go ahead and keep hitting her with these we'll line up next to her here AP shells on a submarine are kind of useless. We're not gonna we're not gonna go shoot a, a freaking cruiser with this thing, so we might as well use the shells that we got. And if we've slowed her down to this point in time, then all we need to really do is just punch some holes in her hull. Let the <laughs> let the ocean do the rest. <laughs> there we go. The thing about AP shells is they don't really start fires, though. She's already got a fire going on her, so we just want to make sure that we actually get the flooding, which looks like that's what's going on here. There's our boy over there. Go ahead and let's uh, use about 10, 15 of these shells here. Let's see if we can get her to actually go down. Getting her back here, she's still moving, though. 
Still got a little bit of a wake back there, but BAM, baby! So that's probably a fire spreading. So let's just keep hitting her with these AP shells here for a little bit. Just punching holes in that hull, that 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 tin can hull of yours. Whiff. Nice. That's coming out of your paycheck, dude. <laughs> there we go. All right, you got it back. <laughs> yeah, she's going to go down here pretty quick. Done. All right, let's go ahead and uh, cease fire, shall we? Yep. Hold fire. Yeah. Done. All right, so we didn't get the big boom like we did last time, but that's okay. We'll take it. That is one transport. Dunzo! Uh, what was she again? 5,400 tons? Something? This one. 7,300 tons. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. We'll take that. All right, gentlemen. Nicely done. And still have a lot of ammo. All the torpedoes. Well, most of the torpedoes. <laughs> yeah, most of the torpedoes. Uh, flying fish. You got all the torpedoes. Finback, you've got most of the torpedoes. Yeah, haven't seen anything from you. Steelhead, I think we'll want to keep you down in here. So let's uh, stay away from the shallows, man. But let's get you up in here. So 2,900. Oh yeah, Bucko one. Yeah, let's make sure we get these guys out of here. So let's uh, run this till dawn. Task Force 34 Australians, you're heading back home. Task Force 14, cover these guys. It'll be good. And then you guys, Task Force 54, getting in there. Task Force 24 in the slot. Just owning the place. Let's do that. Let's see if we can actually click this over here. Um, or the course of the night. What the frick are you, man? Why do we have Jake's way down here? <laughs> USS Drum on station. Got another one here. All right. So busy night for you, man. Let's go ahead and do it. So what do we got? Are you down? You are down. What do we got over here? We've got ourselves a tanker that is armed. Um. So my rule is we do not attack things on the surface that are able to shoot back. This tanker is armed. My gut tells me it'll only take a couple shells to actually light this dude up, but I don't want to I don't want to risk the drum, so let's go ahead and use some torpedoes here, shall we? Uh light that all the way up. Up scope. Turn on your radar. Let's do this proper light, shall we? Let's do uh, four torpedoes, two degree spread. Chances of a dead torpedo is about 50%. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run with this. Here we go. Let's get into position. What is our angle? Oh, I guess we gotta ID the target first. 10,000 yards. Let's figure out what you are. You are an oiler. One rack. This guy with the guns. Two five inch guns.
Now, Herr Kaloin, I know you're telling me right now that you should probably just pop on the surface and go shoot this guy. Um, we got all the torpedoes, though. Let's go ahead and let's do this one proper like. I hear you, man. <laughs> You're a little bit more aggressive than I am, man. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, let's do this the the right way. Ah, I don't know if it's the right way, but let's uh, let's do this the safe way. Let's do it that way. <laughs> so we got we got a good beat on him. I think so. They're going pretty fast, though. That's okay. We'll head down to here, make the turn, shoot the trepidus. We'll take the risk. That the trepidus suck. <laughs> so, but, at the same point in time, we're in really good firing position here, I think. Actually, it's going to be pretty far. So, 8,100 yards. We'll get this down to about uh, 4,000 yards. Shoot the torpedoes. When the push comes to shove, we'll chase them down. And gun them down. Oh, man, the angle is bad, though. Angle's way bad. Let's go ahead and get on the surface here. Let's run around him this way. <sighs> Angle's no good. We're going to run around this way. Hope he doesn't spot us. We'll go ahead and submerge. Oh, we don't even need to submerge. We're just going to get in... in, uh... repeated shooting range. Oh. 2,000 yards, 3,000 yards. So, because this game is a little bit forgiving, as long as you shoot with the, the torpedoes from a long range, um, you can usually make the shot. So, but, like, the last thing that I want to do is actually damage the submarine. Because USS Drum is in really good position. Um, yeah. So let's do this one proper like. Now if this uh, oiler was the unarmed one, we would be gunning her down as we speak. So, but look at this. We've actually got pretty good angle here. So let's do this. Um, which, this is what I would do in Silent Hunter 4, to tell you the truth. Um, with an armed merchantman, get in good firing position with torpedoes, shoot the torpedoes, and if they don't work, um, then we would do something else. <laughs> so, but we'll get down to about here. We could submerge the boat, it won't matter. So... We got a night scope, so yeah, we're gonna make this uh, dog leg right here. Submerge the boat so they don't detect us. So we're way out here somewhere in the darkest hours of the night. Let's get a uh... yeah. There we go. So this is a thousand yards. Go ahead and get to about here. We'll drop the boat down. Our scope depth. I think our scope is still up. Yeah, it is. Bad form. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> we'll shoot the torpedoes here. Let's go ahead and uh, our scope depth the boat. Down she goes.
2700 yards let's get this down to about 1800 we'll shoot could do a dick cocaine here but yeah don't care that much I think it'll be okay all right here we go 1800 yards Fort torpedoes two degree spread shoot the fish off they go Three and four. Probably has no clue that we're here. Torpedoes have a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit of an acute angle, but that's okay. They're going to, she's not going to detect us now. So let's just wait and see. And they come. There they are right there. Good spread they're all gonna hit question is do they detonate <laughs> hey here we go thonk bam baby thonk ah one hit three thonks man brutal we get a fire we get a whole bunch of nothing man Moderate flooding. Let's go fight this guy. Surface the boat. Frick. <laughs> Surface the boat. Attack this jerk. Light him on fire. There we are right there. Target. Uh, star shell. Arrow spot. Fire. This aft gun here is going to get a shot at us. So, hold fire. High explosive. Fire. Yeah, see, they're going to shoot back at us. Let's just get a couple hits on this dude. Let's see if we can just keep that one gun trained on us here. It's just one gun. Oh man, they got a hit on us, man. See, that's oh, God, that's what I didn't want to do. Oh, that's two hits on us. God damn it, we're gonna lose a submarine now, man. Come on, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. See, we're sinking now, man. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Blow tanks. How do I do that? Emergency blow. Blow tanks. Get up on the surface, man. Got to. See, it just took two shells from a tanker to actually bag me here. Let's see. 77 feet. 78 feet. We're still going down. Come on, 79 feet now. We're gonna, we're gonna die. And there goes another, yeah, expanded. Yeah, this freaking tanker bagged the USS Drum, who had an amazing career up to this point in time because I got a little bit too ballsy and figured like, well, we put two shells into her, she's just gonna light up like a candle, and that didn't happen. So, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Come on, 92 feet, 93 feet. Come on, blow tanks, man. I think I already did this, but yeah, already blown. We're screwed. Get up on the surface, yeah. And unfortunately, this tanker is not gonna die. So, heavy, moderate. Going to head back. And unfortunately, the USS Drum here is going to meet a very unfortunate fate. You guys got to get in the escape trunk. Get out of here. Unless we can actually fix something here. Stop doing that. Well, you got to fix the fire. 
I get it. We only got, only got one crew. All right, she's heading back to the surface. She's not heading back towards the surface, but she's not going down that hard. We might be able to actually get out of here. Let's just wait and see. Get that. No, 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 no. Stop that. Uh, how do I how do I change that? You gotta you gotta fix that. If we get the flooding here stopped. We might be able to get out of here. We're still going down slowly. If we can pump this out. Maybe. Maybe, man. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come <laughs> on. At least we can get the boys back home. Head back up. Yep, we're heading back up. All right. Oh, Lord. Okay, we got to get out of here. Oh, man. Lucky, lucky, lucky ship. Nope, nope, nope. Leave that guy alone. I'm not going to mess with him anymore. We are out of here. Let's get this fixed up, too. We got to get USS Drum back down to uh, Morsby. Um, we're going to let the tanker go. So we saved the boys. All right. Wow, man. That's like the first time ever that I've actually been able to manage to save a submarine. Um, and yeah, like I said, we will not attack <laughs> anything that can shoot back from now on. Get out of here, man. So all the way out of here. GTFO USS Steelhead. Uh, assume that position. Actually, Flying Fish, you take that position. Been back, you take that position. And Steelhead. Yeah, get down here in the Solomon Sea, right about there. Let's get a USS Drum back. She's had a, a great, a great patrol. And so I don't want to actually jack that up. So, all right, folks. So there we go. Fourth of July episode. So got a little bit of, a little bit of action for you. So whole bunch of shells on a Japanese destroyer <laughs> thanks to the the Royal Australian Navy and also um, a little bit of action thanks to the silent service and uh, our bow fighters as well the Royal Australian Air Force did well today is and uh, did well today is um, um, as well and so um, we are getting close uh, probably one more episode get task force 40 or 54 up here to the canal, drop these guys off, and uh, get you a victory screen. At least for this leg of the campaign. Like I said, um, I'm going to continue this campaign for a little bit, just because I want to make sure. Uh, well, actually, I kind of want to just emulate Cartwheel, and so we need to take all of these things here, this uh, line of stars, and so it's time to actually start prepping for that. We got a little bit of command points. We'll have a lot more in three more days. But the next episode, episode number 35, um, we should actually have the canal all stitched up. And so, um, yeah, it'll it'll be kind of a momentous thing because I've never seen the command or I've never seen the uh, the victory screen in this game. And so I'm looking forward to it. So I <laughs> hope you are, too. Uh, meanwhile, questions, comments, concerns, you know where those go. Uh, if you want to keep with the series, you know what you need to do. But um, episode number 35, War on the Sea, United States Navy coming your way here pretty soon. Um, hope you all had a good fourth, and we'll see you all again here real soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye.